Hello everybody, welcome back to Reno and Explorers. Um Let's get you what are you wearing? Leather vest. Vest out of armor. Or should I give it to you? Sorry, got a bit distracted. Um, alright. Now let's... Hi, sorry. Uh... Choose expedition? Uh... I've already been there. Okay. Hungarian fort. Mali mystery. Cure... Caribbean island. Let's go to the Caribbeans. Always wanted to be there. Um, the once fierce Dutch pirate Walsh disappeared many years ago after burying his pirate treasure. Monkeys and smugglers will oppose you, and an aggressive approach could make it easier. Uh, expect nature challenges and techniques. Let's see. Friendly approach might help. All right, that sounds good. You're up for a unique chance to explore an inland and in the inland in search of for a mysterious witch doctor. These areas are full of good-spirited villagers and devious hyenas, and a friendly approach might help. Swift pony of rogue athlete and beguiler challenges. You might find a lot of gold. Let's go here. Probably should look to the other one. It's probably a bad idea to put a spoonful of ice cream in my mouth, huh? Recently, the world has grown interested in the cultural treasures from West Africa. A group of people have little... A group of people little studied and understood still lives in these areas. A prosperous clan lives in a large village somewhere near. Yvonne is positive that you'll find a treasure there. Let's see where this village is. However, this village has not been kind to strangers. The leader, a witch doctor, always refuses the pleas of travelers. He says that he finds them boring and rude and cannot touch his heart. If you want the best results, you have to find out how to please the witch doctor. We'll see. Onwards. Um. Let's go here. Need they around here? Caravan raiders. There are too many here to take head on, but they don't notice you coming from around the rocks. You see some coin and an interesting document that you would like to have. Maybe you can acquire these goods quietly. Uh, come on. Shit. Oh no, Pedro de Sosa clam at the coins, but one of the guards notices Pedro. Padrino is chased off by ten men. Besides the shock, Padrino is lucky to remain unharmed. What is grit? Um, okay. Well, that went bad. Let's just get the gold. Convoy of Myers is passing you by you. Representative of the mining company sees you and wants a word with you. Listen to the man. I don't know you guys from the ex- Hey, don't I know you guys from the Explore newspaper from somewhere in the back section? You have quite the reputation. Would you be interested in using some of that reputation to put a good word for our company? You'll be rewarded handsomely. Ah. Decline the offer. You decline the offer in part ways. Oopsies. Oh, this isn't very good. Oh dear, a pack of hyenas. They look particularly aggressive. Defend yourselves.
Oopsies. You manage to tame the hyenas. Even the meanest of beasts can be befriended. A valuable lesson. Ooh. An Aduit committee from the witch doctor approaches you. Hmm. You seem mildly interesting. Maybe you would like to enlist on the waiting list for those who can assume our leader, the witch doctor. He might give you some reward for your foreign tricks. Waiting time is five months. Well, you don't want to meet the well, you do want to meet the witch doctor, but you don't have that time. Persuades the villagers. The villagers are pretty excited. Whoa, Yvonne, you sure are something. Say well, make sure you only have to wait two months. Ain't that great? It still takes way too long. You have to put in more effort to, to convince these people. What? Yeah, no, we're doing friendly. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, I can't move very far over here. I'll have you move over here. to people is good, guys. The villagers are utterly impressed by you. We have to admit, you're pretty cool. Especially you, Yvonne. You're, like, the best person, like, ever. We'll make sure that you can get an auto it whenever you come. Great. Sweet. Um, her status? Research. Oh, I gotta find... Then at the desert, you find an interesting red bark tree. You take some samples to study it along the way. Great, continue. Cool. Um, survivalist. Let's go here. You find a little hut. You can hear weird noises coming from inside. Take a look inside. Lonely lady is trying to move around furniture in her small hut. Oh, hey there. I was trying some new house decoration, but moving my wardrobe and bed around is so hard. Oh, shit. Well... You could help her, but the small hut gives you little room to move. You have to be athletic to make it work. Uh, let's try it, Yvonne. Don't have good chances. Yes! Yes! We did it! Yvonne was of great help. The lady is impressed, is very pleased with her new interior, and shares a secret technique. Well, it's a secret massage technique. You might not think much of it, but it can relax even the grumpiest soul around here. It might come in handy. Yes. Ooh, let's tell a campfire story. Let's get... Actually... I need more gold. The crew spends the night going through some trinkets they've collected. When a, an appraising eye and a healthy discussion, the crew discovers some pieces are worth more gold. Sometimes it pays to take a second look at things. Yes! Look at all that stuff. Um, let's go here because we need supplies we want to get forward. Bountiful place. The crew is tired, but you feel that some might find some supplies with some effort. Pedrino! You got this. Yeah. Pedrino dodged through the heat and found some extra edible plants for supplies. Fantastic. Um... Status in gold. Even if there is an encounter. You encounter another explorer, Virginia James, the American Strider. Howdy, Yvonne. Funny to see you here. I'm pretty busy, so I can't stay to chatter with you. Maybe she's looking for the same village as you. Uh, 
Um, why is that green? I don't want to say something mean. What are you looking for, Virginia? She doesn't care to answer you. Some super awesome treasure. Posse, could you explain to our colleges that it's futile to look for treasure now I'm here? She leaves while the posse starts trying to convince you to go away. Uh, maybe I should have. Rude. Hmm. Need more status. Let me just go devious. Because we're good on treasure. Ooh, but we do need more re study. I don't know. Pedrino just looks like a fun dude. But, uh... The posse tells you all they know. Sweet. Now the posse wants you to stay. No, don't leave! The Mask of Bandus is rumored to be bound here. We know where the Mask of Bandus might be hidden. We'll mark it on your map. Just don't leave because we said so Okay, before, okay? It's good to make some friends. Oh, wow. The crew leaves of Virginia's posse. Yvonne wonders, will you ever find the fabled Mask of Madness? Let's go here. A hermit villager is playing around with some monkeys in the jungle. He seems distracted and his hut seems to hold a genuine treasure. Closer instructions show it's a benign Benin mask. Treasure up for grabs. Agatha has a dastardly plan. Sneak around and take the Benin mask while the monkey lover ain't looking. Pedrino is appalled. You don't go around nabbing others' treasure. Agatha assures Pedrino that you're only borrowing it for an indefinite time. Pedrino will not stand for this. <laughs> Pedrino will not stand for this. Agatha calls Pedrino a blockhead for not taking a treasure like an explorer. And Pedrino retorts by calling Agatha a poor professor. Within seconds, a fight breaks out. Oh no. Then you notice laughter. The hermit is monkeys are making fun of you. Uh, uh, e, e, ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, oh, e, ah, ha, ha, ha. In the, in the best, in your best monkey knees, that translates to, I can't believe you're fighting over this old mask. If that buffooning, those buffooning buffoons want it so bad, they can have it. Ah ha ha. You don't know what the last sentence meant. The treasure's yours. Cool. Ooh, that looks cool. You leave with the Benin mask in your hands. However, both Alec and Pedro are both ashamed of their behavior and apologize to each other. It was indeed a shameful display. Um, maybe an epic encounter here. Um, first, let's get some more supplies. The crew sets up camp somewhere plants are growing. There must be a fresh water well nearby. One person go looking for the well while the others keep guard at the camp. Who will look for the well? Pedrino! Pedrino finds a huge rock from under which his little flow of water is coming. After lifting the boro, boro, blah, 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 boulder up, Pedrino finds a fresh water spring. The fresh water will surely lighten the crew's spirits. Yeah. Nice. Um, let's go here. Small gold mine. You can go in for a few swings with the pack ass. Mine the gold. 
Let's go here. The Forgotten Mud City. Legends tell about the Mask of Madness that is said to have brought this place to ruin. There still must it must still be around here somewhere. Yvonne's explorer heart is starting to beat faster. On to look for the Mask of Madness. The ruined mud buildings are impressive. It's almost as if someone has been maintaining them. The crew looks around. The central tower seems to be the obvious place. Get the nose is a special building. With a mixture of skill and luck, Ag Agatha notices that one building is a small mosque. With some effort, you get in and can observe the ancient building in all its splendor. Agatha drops down some observations and you're ready to go. Fantastic. Continue to the central tower. When you enter the central tower, you find quite a scene. The walls are fully decorated with many masks. Not only that, but you find one of your rivals, Virginia James, a stout American explorer. She and her crew are looking around puzzled. Are we too late? Just pick one. Any mask would make... Okay. Virginia is surprised by your presence. What? Oh, it's you! Very funny, Yvonne. We're looking for the Mask of Manets, but it's not here. Looks like you chased a dead end, but maybe there's a hint somewhere on what to do. Ooh, so many choices. Pedrino tries to make everyone laugh. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Yvonne's beguiling charm makes everyone smile. Agatha tries to make everyone sad. Yvonne convincingly saddens everyone. Yvonne tries to tell everyone they're pathetic explorers. Agatha does a little dance. What? <laughs> um, let's try that one. Everyone is laughing out loud, loud, duly to Yvonne's approach. Suddenly something weird happens. What is happening? The masks start to whirl around the, at enormous speed. What trickery is this? Absolutely amazing. The mask of madness suddenly appears out of thin air. What a magnificent treasure. Virginia moves to pick it up. Thanks, Yvonne. That was all we needed from you. Goodbye now. What? You found it? Your reputation on Explorer is on the line here. We need to convince her. Uh... This is not gonna go well, is it? Alright. Either do aggressive or friendly. Well, they're all friendly, so... Hmm. Awesome. Everyone's nice. Perfect. Um, oh, I can move with that. Perfect. Um, let's move you here. I can do a party. Good enough. And turn. Air turn. I'm worried about... No, well... Ooh. <laughs> Alright, looks like... Adreno! No! 
I didn't do anything. This is gonna be bad. Yeah. If I just focus on her, it'll be good. Just gotta be careful. There we go. Uh -huh. Whoa. Nice. Yeah. We did it. Perfect. You convinced Bridgerton and James. Well, yeah, you're right. You were the ones that found the Mask of Madness after all. I would be an explorer without honor if it took it from you. The treasure is yours. Fantastic. Mask of Madness. Um. With the Mask of Manets in your hand, you leave the Forgotten Mud City. What an adventure. Agatha is happy with the result, but hopes you won't have to chase down another enchanted mask in the near future. Um, alright. I don't have very many supplies left, so... Let's try to do this. You find a weird yellow mask, a message inscribed. Putting on this mask will weaken you, but bring you mystic blendings. Uh. Why would I do that? Minus 10. Who has the most speech? Oh, that wouldn't be too bad. Speech defense. 35. 43. And 11. Alright, we'll, we'll give it to Agatha. Um, love is the message. Agatha puts on the mask and is terrified by a horrific revision. The mask burns into nothingness, but you magically got some new research. Hooray for science! You're out of supplies, you press on. Uh, great. Yvonne starts rambling. Alright, we gotta go here. There's no other place to get supplies. This is the Witch Doctor Village. Maybe Yvonne and the crew will be able to get a rare local treasure for your collection here. Once you visit the village, the expedition will be over and you will return to the overworld. Onwards. What a unique village. The villagers are gathering around the central place where an event is taking place. You only hear, Nah, these people are boring and I will not give them the treasure. Send them away. That must be the witch doctor. Take a, Go take a closer look. You're right, the witch doctor just sent two other explorers away. He turns his eye to Yvonne, obviously annoyed at that another person has come to do it. Ugh, another annoying group of scallywags. Go away, you're not getting anything. Yvonne charmously persuades the witch doctor to listen. Yeah. Just like with most old people, Yvonne has put in a lot of effort to make a point. But after a few minutes of loud conversation with the witch doctor, is at least stalled. Hmm. Okay, let me consider. Great, maybe he'll give us a treasure. The one officer turns to his audit committee. Are these young folks on the list or something? Are these people... 
musing of some sort. Uh oh, it looks like you chance to. Well, I did talk to him. Yeah, do it. Penelope puts in a good word for you. They tell the witch doctor how strong your personality is and that he should hear you out. Seems the previous approach has benefited you. Well, duh. Good job, committee. The witch doctor turns to you again. Uh, okay, fine. Amuse me. There we go. The witch doctor skipped it at first, but then finally gives in to Yvonne's massage. I haven't felt this good since forever. I'm so relaxed. He orders some villagers to bring the golden chihuahua. Believe you've earned this. Well, on one condition. Hmm, that was amazing. I swear you can have this chihuahua, but please massage me a little bit more first. I'm almost relaxed enough to give this amazing treasure to an outsider. Yvonne continues to perform the massage. The witch doctor is obviously enjoying Yvonne's soothing hands and wants more of it. Mm, that was amazing. I swear you can have this chihuahua. But please massage me a little bit more first. I'm almost relaxed enough to give this amazing treasure to an outsider. Let's try again. Um, no, it's enough. That's quite enough of this tomfoolery. The witch doctor still wants more free entertainment. Come on, one more time. Do this for the exposure. You want to face the witch doctor, but he's an indomitable spirit. A polite decline for a minor treasure might be a better option. Ooh. Go big or go home, right? Oh, come on. I swear you can have the chim ride. I'm such a nice old man, too. Please entertain me one more time. He's determined to keep you around forever. Well, we already beat someone. Gonna do friendly. Uh huh. Ooh. Ooh, Pedrino. Oh, yeah. Heartwarming. Oh, yeah. He's so strong. I love him. So oh, I didn't realize there were people over here. Oh my god, this is gonna be long. Look at that charming smile. Villagers join the conflict. What? Uh -huh. Shit. Are you huh? All right, just gotta focus on him now.
<laughs> All right. Again, cool. Eh? Oh, no. Gotta hurt him a little bit. Oopsies. God. <laughs> Yay, we got the treasure. I got confused. Jeez, look at that top bar. Wow. You did it. The witch doctor is amazed. I never thought to meet such amazing people in my old days. You deserve this Chihuahua treasure. I'm sure it's in good hands. Being friendly is fantastic. See? Friends are good. Oh, that is pretty. The treasure in hand, you leave the village. Yvonne brags that you really showed that witch doctor what the arena and s s explorers are all about. The expedition is a success. It's time to head back and take these treasures to the arena and explorers international society. Explored. We did it. Friendly. Wow. I think we did good. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. That was fun. Small discoveries. Wow, look, we bumped up to number six. Interesting findings and some inspiring upstart explorers. Exotic location discovered in the Mali by a promising explorer, Yvonne Laferry. Explorers Society board members are excited about the progress of the gracious giver. With that great adventure behind you, you can send a report to an explorer welcoming city. This will unlock new possibilities on the world. You can only unlock one city per expedition. Later expeditions might not add new options. To who are you going to send a report to? Let's get new equipment. Greetings, explorer. We down here in New Orleans. Read all about your amazing adventures. Just so you know, our shops are in downtown New Orleans. Have some special offers for people like you. We hope to see you soon. Governess Johnson. Woo! Alright. Um, that went on for a little long. Yeah. Yeah, 36 minutes. I'll probably skip through a few of those battles. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um... Let me know what you think of this game in the comments below. It's available on Steam for... Hold on. Um... 20 bucks. Um, it's a lot of fun. And, I don't know, I really enjoy it. So thank you guys so much for watching, um, let me know what you think in the comments below, and as always, have a good day everybody. <laughs>